Hey folks, this is Vincent Adali with Ads Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to check out Best Treehouse Ever. This is a game that supports two to four players. It's for ages eight and up, and the average play time is 30 minutes. This is a game that I covered four or five years ago, but Idalee has never played before. In Best Treehouse Ever, we will be drafting cards a la Sushi Go in the sense that we will be given a hand of cards. We will pick one in secret, place it face down, reveal them at the same time, and then place that card somewhere in our treehouse. And our goal is to place cards in such a way to where they will score us the most points. But there are some other rules that we'll get into shortly. So here's a quick look at our two-player game setup. Here is the deck of cards up here. They simply contain rooms of a particular color. They don't like have any sort of special abilities. Their game is played over three rounds, and in each round, each player gets six cards. And when you get down to your last two, you pick one and discard the other one. So there's going to be five cards played per round, 15, game, or 15 cards in total throughout the entire game. Your tree starts at the base down here, and then you're going to have a row of two, and then a row of three, and then a row of four, and a row of five, and so on, so on, so on. Whenever you place a card... On the right side of your tree, think of your tree as a scale. There's going to be a dead center up and down uh, vertically like this. Whenever you put a card to the right, your tree will sway to the right. You cannot place another card on the right side of your tree or scale until you place a card on the left side in order to uh, counterbalance it. Okay. On the uh, this third row here, this would be in the middle. And that's fine. Uh, the tree will not sway either way. If your tree was already on the right side and you place a card in the middle, you can do that too. You just simply can't play two lefts or two rights uh, without balancing things appropriately. Otherwise, your tree will tip over, and that's illegal in this game. Uh, something to note about the colors. There are different cards of different colors, and like I said, the room titles don't really matter. There are no special abilities on these cards. Whenever you start placing rooms in your tree, the first color that you put in there, you can place anywhere. But any future cards of that same color have to be adjacent to that existing color. So if this were a blue card, I'd have to put future blues adjacent to it in some way so that they're touching. If I put a green and a red and a brown and cut off blue completely, then I can never play another blue card ever again, okay? So you can cut off colors in this game and kind of screw yourselves up. Um, so another thing to note about placement, um, cards must be supported by two cards below it. So for example, I could not do this. There's going to be two cards here and three cards here. This card is not supported by two cards except if it's an edge card. An edge card is one that cannot possibly get two because it's on the edge of the tree. Um, in this case, um, this card, if I had something like this, and I went ahead and did something like this, and again, there's only going to be two cards ever played here on this row. This is an edge card, and this is allowed. However, this is not allowed because this is not an edge card. The edge card would be over here, and the edge card would be over here. This is in the middle of that row. So you'd have to have a card here supporting this as well. So um, long story short, cards must be supported by two other cards unless it's an edge card. Okay? Mm -hmm. At the end of a round, uh, we get these game changer cards. In a two-player game, we have the same one. This simply says, this room type does not score this round. So we pick a color, and that color does not score. Um, in a three or four player game, there are th these other cards that will enter play. This says this round each player scores two per room of this type. So you can actually double the point value of that particular color. But in a three or four player game, you'll use these. In a two player game, we only use these to eliminate points rather than gain doubles of something. Um, speaking of scoring, we're going to look at every color in our treehouse. And whatever ones are still active after we have like cut off certain colors, um, we're going to score one point for each room of that color in our treehouse. Okay? 
As an optional thing, you can include these bonus cards. There's a deck in the box and you just draw one at random. And if you happen to get these patterns created during the game, um, at the end of the game, you'll score these points. You can score one or both of these, depending on how well you do. And that's it. I think that's a good uh, overview. The rule book is about 10, 11 pages. So, and it does a fairly good job of explaining everything. Mm -hmm. All right, off we go. Let's give it a try and see how well we do. Um, all right, so I'm going to look at my six cards, pick one, put it face down. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, so, let's see, what do I want to... I need to look at these cards closely. Yes. Because <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to screw myself up. Oh, man. All right, so I'm going to play that one face down, and I will pass this to you. And when you're ready, you put a card. I should probably like put this down here or something. Yeah. Um, okay. Let's do this one. All right. So now we reveal. Mine's blue. It's on the right side of the tree. So this tree is going to sway to the right. Mm -hmm. I cannot place another right side until I balance it out on the left. Mm -hmm. All right. So now I am going to look at these. I am going to pick, hmm. all right, I'm going to pick this one and then give that to you. All right, and then I reveal. And because it's on the left side now, it's going to sway to the left. Yep. So you got two yellows there, interesting. Mm -hmm. All right, um, looking at these cards, I'm going to pick, hmm. did I do that in the wrong order? I completely did that in the wrong... I you, can't believe I did that. You can switch it. It's no, fine. it's... Switch it. It's fine. It's fine. fine. Trust me. It's fine. It's a little... It's fine. I, I got... I don't know. My dyslexia or whatever it is, mm -hmm. I saw it. Okay. Um, yeah, if I win, then she wins. No, is, it's is, fine. That's how that's going to play out. I'm going to play that one. Uh, and... Yeah, that's going to go over here. And then these pass to you. And we reveal... It's a red. It goes over here. All right. And wow, this sucks. <laughs> uh, nothing I want. Okay, great. Although, do I just give up on that completely? Mm. Uh, wow. Okay. I guess I'll play this one. This is hard. This is hard. Yes. All right, we reveal. Yeah. Mine is in the middle, so it's fine. It's it's not going to sway to the right. Oh, really? So mine is in the middle as well? M middle cards do not affect anything. Okay, so... Oh, no. So you have to play one here before you can play one up here. Okay. What if I... Okay, so I cannot place one here? Yes. Imagine a vertical line going straight up. On the fourth row, two are going to be... Because there's... On even numbered rows, okay. you're never going to have dead center. I see. Two will be on the left and two is on the right for the fourth row. Okay. No worries. Okay. And then I get to play one more. Um, I think I'm going to do this one here because uh, I have to. Whenever you can't play a card, by the way, that you might have, it, I mean, if, if not, you can't play any cards in your hand. Mm -hmm. You pick one and discard it and pass. All right. So reveal. It's on the left here. And it goes back to the middle. Yeah. All right. So that is the end of the first round. Uh, the oldest player, supposedly, gets to pick the first color to get rid of. Um, I, I think. I think yellow. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> I will just do water. <laughs> All right. So how many brown cards? Uh, one. Okay. I have, I have one. How many red cards? I have two. And that's it. Mm -hmm. So you have one green. Mm -hmm. You have uh, one purple. Yep. That's it. Okay. Second round. All right. So one, two, three, four, five, six. That's a sweaty game for one, a little, two, little one. Three, four, five, six. It is. Okay. All right. Um, let's see. All right. What am I going to do with this mess? I kind of want to work on... Yeah, I think I need to get that on there. 
Okay, um, let's put this one there. Now, it would sway to the left, right? Correct. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And mine will sway to the right. I see. Reveal. All right. And this goes to you. Yep. Oh boy. Okay. Um, I'm going to put... Ooh, that's bad. I kind of have to. All right, I'm going to put this one there. Hmm. Let's do... Hmm. <laughs> I'm all sorts of confused. Um... And these come back to us. Let's just do... Just the deck I just gave you? Yeah. Okay. Sorry, I'm still choosing. No, you're fine. Take your time. Um... Mm. That would go to the right. Yeah. You would not be able to place one over here this round because it would sway it to the left again. So, yep, it has to be one of these two over here. It would have to be here? Or up here? It can't be there because the center would have to be supported by two cards. Well, that's what I'm doing. Correct. I'm just saying for in this turn, the yeah, one that yeah, you're doing yeah. now, okay. you couldn't do this yeah, right that's now. Right. That's right. But yeah, you could. Yeah. Okay. I'm saying it's illegal to put a card over here because you're already swaying to the left. Okay. I see what you mean. Okay. Good? Yeah. Next, yeah. I'm going to reveal. Sorry. And I sway back to the left. Okay. Okay. All right. I think I'm going to do that one there. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. Go, 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 go. Um, I think... So you completely cut off brown. Is that I did. What I see. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Just... Look at you trying to play to my. Uh, no, Can you move your tree to the right a little bit? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Sorry. You're encroaching on the bonus cards. No. It's <laughs> How dare you? So you reveal. Okay. And I sway mine to the right. Yeah. Mine. And then I have to place one to the left there. All right. Well, uh, I don't have a lot of options, so I will do this one. That one. And right. you get these two. Yep. And then this is here. And I sway back to the left. And we pick one card and discard the other one. Well, I guess it's going to have to be that one. Um, so I'm going to go with... Uh, I'm trying to find the best thing here. It's not possible for me to do this one for sure. Because I've cut off this color. Okay, so I will just do that and discard that. Oh, I can't do that one. It has to be this one. My bad. Yep, because I can't play that. Okay. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Um, I'll do that. Okay. Oh, wait. No, I can't. I have to do it here. Why? Because it has to match a color, right? It has to match a color, yeah. Yeah. Okay. From, yeah. From a sway standpoint, it's an edge card, you're fine. But if, as if it's a color issue, then yeah. If it's brown or green, it would have to go. Actually, you can't do this. Why? They have to touch each other. <laughs> so just switch brown and green around or something. Oh, I keep forgetting. Yeah. Oh, that hurts. Sorry. It's fine. <sighs> That. Colors have to touch. Yeah, I feel like I just screwed everything up. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I did. Reveal. <laughs> All right, so there's that. Nice way mine to the left, and yours is dead center. Yeah. So yours stays where it is. Ugh. All right, so end of round. Whoever's the most points goes oh. first. I will cut off. It doesn't matter to me. Either way, yellow or green. I'll do yellow. Doesn't matter. Okay. I'll do blue. All right. 
So, in terms of points, um, I had one purple. Uh, I have, I, I, you know, we should just start from left. It'll be easier. Brown, I have one brown. Red, I have three red. One, two, three. How many purples? I have one. And how many greens? I have one. You have, um, starting with this brown, two you have two browns, so you're up to four. Uh, how many reds? None. How many purples? Two. And how many greens? Three. You are tied. Look at that. Mm -hmm. See? Good. Last round. Um, these four. Discarded? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> From this round. Okay. Last round. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. Let's see. Um, hmm. Okay. <laughs> that sucks. Mm -hmm. um, all right. I'm going to play. So I cannot put any blues or reds because nothing's connected to it? You haven't placed a red yet, so you can place red anywhere. Oh, I see. Your first card of that color can go anywhere. I see. It's when you put a color down, you have to keep touching it. I see. Okay, sorry. So you've cut off... The only thing that you can't play is yellow. It's yellow, yeah. Um, okay. I'm going to do... Jeez. Oh, what am I going to do? I'll just do that. And that sways it. Oh, wait, I can't play... Wait, did I just... Oh, I didn't... Oh. Did you play I, I can't do that one because my tree is on the left. So I gotta place something over here to the right. You have six cards? I do. What I mean is, yeah, I've, I, I gave you five. I just picked up those. Oh, okay. Yeah, I picked, I did the wrong thing. Okay. Yep. Um, okay. I think, oh, I don't even know. All right, so we reveal. Yep. And that sways back to the right. And this madness. Um, I guess I'll do that one. And that's going to sway it to the right. This will sway it to the right. All right. Yeah. Reveal. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to do... I don't know. <laughs> I have a choice between two, and I don't know what I want to do here. All right. Um, fine, I'll do this one. I'll keep it nice and centered. You good? Yeah. This was All right, so I reveal? To the left. Yeah. Okay. Please give me a color I need. Please give me a new. Oh, okay, fine. Well, I mean, not terrible, but uh, I think I need to, yeah. All right, that's going to go right there. Oh. Actually, do I want to really cut that off? I could, in theory, start working on this top row. I could do that. I'm going to zoom out slightly so you guys can see the top there. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. Um, maybe... Maybe I do this one here, and that'll sway it to the left. Mm -hmm. And then we reveal. Yep. Okay. All right. Uh, no choice. This one I can't possibly do anything with. This one I'm going to play here. Mm -hmm. And then we reveal. Yep. And that's... Does that stay in the middle? I don't even know. This card? Yep. Yep, yeah, because on the fifth, yeah, because on this row, this is going to have a middle, or wait a minute, that's going to be a middle, that's going to be a middle, that's going to be on the right, that sways to the right. That sways to the right. Mm-hmm. 
All right, so did we place 15? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. We did. So that was three rounds. 15. Yeah. Okay. So that was like that was our last one. Hmm. Um, so now we block off a color to score this round out. Um, it's a tie. You go. go you go. Yeah, you go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. You're older. That's sure. That's what the thing says. Well, in future rounds, if it's. I think in the rule book it says that whoever got it last time gets in a tie, and the next player will do. Go ahead. Just do it. Really? It's. I'm, I'm not going to stress over a casual game like this. <laughs> yeah. So you blocked off blue, mm -hmm. and I'm going to block off um, brown. Okay. So, all right. So now we look at red. I've got four red. That brings me up to one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, four. Um, purple is two. Green is two. And yellow is two. Nice. And then you, red, one, one, uh, purple, three, three, green, four, one, two, three, four, and uh, which one? Yellow. Yellow. Three. Two, three. Look at you! You're winning. Mm. Now we score um, majority on who has the most of each color. So you get, most gets one point per room. Whoever has the most brown, you do. Okay. So you're going to get three points. One, two, three. Oh, Whoever has the most blue. Wow, four points. One, two, three, four. Uh, Whoever has the most red. Four points. One, two, three, four. Whoever has the most purple. Three. Yep, three for you. One, two, three. Most green, that's you. Four. Four. One, two, three, four. Most yellow, that's you. Three. One, two, three. And objective cards, you won. I only did, uh, I, I completed this pattern twice, but I don't think I get credit for it twice. Um, let's see. Uh, bonus cards, bonus cards, bonus cards. At the end of the game, fulfilled one or both. Oh, each can only be scored one time. Mm. So I only get three points. And nice. what'd you get? Nothing. <laughs> you still won. That's rough. That you did great on that. If these two were switched, although I couldn't, uh, I don't think that would have worked actually. Yeah. That stinks. You did very good. Oh man. So how did you like this? Was it? It was tough. I wish it had an actual board. Like, uh, I wish it had an actual board with like little dotted silhouettes of where to put the cards mm -hmm. and like the whole signifying. You know, the if you line. put it on this side, go to the left. If you put it on this side, go to the right. Mm -hmm. Because this was, for my brain, it was a little confusing. It's tough to visualize? Yeah. Is that it? Mm -hmm. How did you win? That's awesome. Like, that's really good. <laughs> Is that just because you had a lot of a particular color? I was just trying not to block myself, but then I saw that I blocked myself early on yellow, and I'm like, Crud. But you had three yellow down there, and that was like, I think you had majority on most of these, mm -hmm. which was, I only had majority on red and blue. Mm -hmm. But, but I would block blue, like, every, I blocked blue every single round. Mm. I think it would have been better for me to, like, try and get majority more than I, I tried to do. Because mm. you, I think that's what clinched it for you, was that majority. Majority of green, yellows, and purples, and mm -hmm. browns. And then I didn't even go for blue or red, or red because... That might have been my mistake. I, I diversified too much, mm. and that, that killed me in the end. So, would you play this again, or was this just like a meh? I liked it, because the biggest selling point for this game is the different art and the different rooms that they have. Now I want to, like, look at my treehouse and see what it, what it actually is. To tell is. a story? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I want to see your I've got a spiral <laughs> staircase, which you would get lost in. I would get lost Photography in. studio, movie theater, what pirate ship, work workshop basketball court, tire swing... Map room, splash pad, rope bridge, surf simulator, bakery, <laughs> rock climbing wall, bounce house, and the armor. That is adorable. I want to play this game again using only cards that I would want, like for a real tree house. <laughs> I don't care what I scored. I want to. I want to do it again. But uh -huh. like the butterfly garden is so cute, but I would not want it. <laughs> I don't like butterflies. Hey, <laughs> Yuri, you know, look at that. That would be one of my first. The first card. You yeah. just duplicate that card if you could. I could. Mm -hmm. I wish I could. Mini golf, swimming pool. 
I saw the diving card. Like, who dives in a in a tree, yeah, tree house? house? Who knows? That's hilarious. There's uh, music room, wow. taco hut, bowling alleys, sandbox. I love that there's a unique card for pretty much everything in this that game. is what i love about this game. library lemonade stand observatory they have no water slide <laughs> there's no special ability whatsoever it's just apple orchard i guess a tree within a tree ball pit there you go so yeah i love that i love that there's all of these different <laughs> rooms that would make me want to play this game again petting zoo there you go oh my gosh i like the game i thought it was really fun it's it's such a crazy strategy type of game because you really have to think about what not to block off and you it, it almost feels like for certain you're going to get blocked off mm -hmm. you know and you have to kind of memorize what cards you're passing to the other players so that you can get a future card that you want mm -hmm. um and i i liked that i really did but man these cards are just the cutest things the uniqueness mm -hmm. how did you like it I, it's okay like I, I consider this a very good travel game. Mm -hmm. It's got a lot of punch in such a small box. Mm -hmm. Like, you're going to be visiting your, your dad. Like, this is a game I would recommend taking, assuming that he could get into the whole mechanics of it. it. He might be, it still might be too much for him. But, like, look how small this game is and how much content is in here yeah it may confuse him too much but at the same time i think it would be a great travel game i don't think he'd like it really yeah i think he'd find it boring sure. <laughs> honestly <laughs> that's funny you match colors you match colors i'm like well oh, meanwhile dominoes, you match dominoes match so numbers. yeah i could say the same thing about dominoes <laughs> i mean who knows he might like it maybe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah I, it's okay like it i appreciate what it does it's very colorful mm -hmm. um yeah, I mean, it's not like, I think this is a good filler game. It's not one that I would rush out and play again. Mm. But at the same time, I recognize it for how good it is mm. uh, for as small as it is. And it played very quick, too. Yeah, it did. So we, um, this is our second time trying to record this. The first time I completely just messed myself up. Well, you I, broke the rule several times because you, yeah, did. you didn't. You were you were going like, well, if I put my my if I put a room over here, technically I'm swaying it back to the right again, yeah. even though it's still on the left side of the tree. Yeah, I thought it was either or of a side of a card is where you can. Put yeah, this no. Thing. It, think of it as one giant scale. Mm -hmm. Right side of the scale, left side of the scale, and you have to balance the yeah. two. That's tough, man. My I need like a visual background thing to tell me okay if you put it on this side like this doesn't work for me this is too small and i can't think of a Hold line <laughs> here we go no no you can there you go <laughs> i'll have to hold this up as we play but wow. there's your imaginary line i just get a laser pointer <laughs> that's funny yeah but i liked it i thought it was fun this was a real game changer i think and that's I think that's another thing that I like about the game is that they just throw that in there. It's it's cool that like this forces you to diversify. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, at the end of the game, you're rewarded for getting a lot of majority on certain cards. So mm -hmm. like if you don't mind being zeroed out a couple of times during the game, mm -hmm. you could probably score big on that color at the end. Yeah. It, it I haven't mathed it out yet to know what's better. I probably didn't technically win either because remember that little... Uh, fiddle. It's fine. It, it, this is like, uh, I think folks who have watched this channel enough know that we are casual. <laughs> we play to have fun. And yeah. if we mess up, we mess up and we just keep going and roll with it. Yeah, so um, we tied. yeah we're not going to like have to burn the game and then buy a new copy to replace it because mm -hmm. we messed up a rule. Yeah. That's just not what I do. You messed up in the beginning by switching I, things out. I don't know why. I, <laughs> I, I saw blue and I'm like, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I dis dyslexia. I don't know what it is. Like yeah. I, for whatever reason, I saw right over here. I blew over here. It's so weird. Yeah, it's it happens. I do like that if people are colorblind, the icon in the top left is the same for each color. Oh yeah. So you're always gonna have a basketball in the upper left. Yeah. Even though this is just basketball court, the tire sw uh, swing, the rock climbing wall, all of them have the same symbols. So mm -hmm. if you're colorblind. It's okay. There's symbols in the upper left that you can observe. Yeah. And it's even on these goal cards as well, so you don't have to like, which one's which? I'm so glad that they used 
um, like actual primary like punch out colors mm -hmm. because I, there's so many games that will use like a, a pink and an off pink and a gray and an yeah. off gray yeah, white off gray. beige. <laughs> an off beige. <laughs> off beige. I hate when games do that. Just give me a very unique It's not red, color. it's scarlet. Yeah. <laughs> what was that? Um, magenta? Magenta. <laughs> God. It's forest cream. <laughs> oh, jeez. Mm. But like, I, I mm. like that it used blue and red and purple and not like a teal and aquamarine. Yeah. So I'm glad that they I'm surprised because like player colors, oh, blue and blue. Uh oh, people freak out when they see two yeah. of the same thing. I would have liked it if it was black and white, actually. Well, <laughs> then what would you make these two colors? Pink. Orange and, this is orange and yellow. <laughs> pink. And pink. <laughs> An off pink. I know, off pink. <laughs> Gray. <laughs> You're wrong. Okay. <laughs> All right, best treehouse ever. Pretty mm -hmm. cool game. If you guys haven't already subscribed to me on Twitch and YouTube, that way you can stay up to date with any new content I can publish. This is Vince and Ida Lee. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch y'all next time. Bye, guys.